day two. Just heading out from the cabin. Some oil in the bike. Cleaned, lubed and adjusted the chain. We're all good to go. So heading to Tolmy, 37 k's. Stringy Bark Creeks this way. Now what happened with Ned Kelly and Stringy Bark Creek? I can't quite remember. We used to read a lot of Ned Kelly stuff, but I just yeah, don't, don't remember. I know we was captured at Glen Rowan. Oh, they just turning onto Madhouse. Madhouse Road. Oh, nice. Got Mitch in front on the Harley Pan America. He's handling all these conditions really well. Did well to get up Mount Terrible yesterday. It was a pretty steep, rocky track. <laughs> Don't do the same. <laughs> yeah, it slid around. I thought I was right. I just couldn't quite stop in time. I got into this loose shit and that was it. So that's all right. <laughs> yeah. You want to hold them around a little bit. Hey. Should go up. Oh, yeah, it's still. Yeah, that? That's still a latch. Oh no! Now I just got to get. Yeah. Oh, fuck, get on. <laughs> Jump on from the back. Who are um, blazing sla saddles? <laughs> oh, holy shit! That's a bit of an angle. Oh, probably in tenth gear. Yeah, we'll go down a few gears. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Is that box alright? It's... Well, oh, did I? Oh. Your um, your number plate's gonna probably fall off. Alright, let me let me move over. Probably just leaving Whitfield. I think the plan is to go along Rose River Road and up to Mount Buffalo. Uh, yeah, Mitch is leading today, so I'm not exactly sure what the plans are. I'm just following along. Happy to follow along today. Have a go at that. That is Mount Buffalo. I'm not sure where he's going here. I don't think this truck goes all the way through. Oh, if it does, it gets very hard. Don't know, could be wrong. It's right along the Buffalo River still. Yeah, very nice river. Hoping this road goes through to Bright. I just remember trying to follow it when we camped up here to see if it would go through to Mount 
explore and it didn't seem to but maybe it does loop back around I don't know maybe I wasn't looking at trying to get to bright this way we'll find out it says about 50 k's which um, oh, I'm going to be looking for fuel by then I used to get about 400 k's out of a tank now it looks like I'm lucky to get 300 definitely got to have a look at that tuning see what I can do then I'm putting the O2 sensor back in will help I was thinking about all the little jobs I've got to do on my bike now um, looks like my fork seals are just weeping so I'm gonna have to do fork seals gotta fix up that radiator my rack has cracked I need to replace my mirrors uh, one of the number plate lights chain and sprockets They're definitely on their way out currently running plus one on the rear I wonder if I should go another one they just come across some farmland very remote area but uh, yeah it looks beautiful green pastures started climbing now saw a nice looking track that went downhill don't know where that goes yeah all of a sudden we just started going up wow a long way down that'd be interesting to know where that other track went if it goes right down the bottom and climbs up yeah we're still climbing steep now we came downhill for a fair bit and then we're going back up again it's steeper this time yeah, that front tire is sliding a lot oh. now I put a bit extra pressure in it before we left too I wonder if that's affecting it probably would be just carry an extra load, I'll put some extra pressure in. I think I went 30, 34 or 36. Oh mate. Where are we? Whoa. That's saying 80 k's now. We're going to run out of here. Okay. Well, let's, let's figure out if there's a quicker way back. What's it saying? Well, it's 25. Oh, I've got full service. Here we go. We, we've gone. Sorry? Before it said we had 50 k's to go. Now it's saying like we've got 80 from here. It's our nice cruisy road just turned into a track. And we're actually further away from Bright than where we were ages ago. Oh, come on. And my bike just died. What was that about? Yeah, the truck just turned into that. Last time we stopped and checked, we had uh, 50 k's to get to Bright done probably 50 k since then now we've got 80 k's to bright so um yeah we missed the turn i'm pretty sure it was a track that i saw that went down and through a creek which while that looked fun probably not something we want to be taking on according to the map we could go that way 80 k's on an unknown track i think we're just better off heading back on the uh, track we came on at least we know it's all easy riding 
I'm going to be in the fuel cons um, conservation mode. So I'm actually just cruising down the hill in neutral at the moment. Showing I've got two bars of fuel. I don't really trust, trust the fuel gauge though. We'll just roll while we can. Yeah, we're going to head for Myrtleford. It's a bit closer. Whitfield was 100 k's. Myrtleford's 80. And it's probably where we should have went in the first place. Yeah, when we turned right off Rose River Road, I had a feeling that was a dead end, but um, we rode it for a long time and the tracks looked fine. It looked really looked like it was going to go through. And I saw it on the map and it said it went through, so I don't know. Alright, checking out tracks. West Humphrey. What was the other one? Humphrey Humphrey River. So that must go down and split up into more tracks. Yeah, it's a bit of a worry the tracks around here, you just don't know where they're gonna go. Schultz, I think, was the one we were supposed to take. Riding on a nice road like this. You'd think you'd stick to the main track that would go through, but it just turned to nothing. I'm better off shutting the engine down. I've been idling for a long time. Yeah, fuck it, we'll shut her off. Back through the cow paddocks again. Looks so peaceful. You just lay out on the grass with the cows. Watch the sun go by. Maybe if I wasn't so worried about running out of fuel. Check it out. Now we're on the road we should have been about three hours ago. <laughs> we should have taken a left turn out of Rose River Road. Come this way. But I admit that um, if I look at the map and I thought it would go through too. That's an amazing place. Now where's Barry? Yeah, I'm going alright. I don't know where Barry's got to. Whoa, look at that. What have we got that side? Oh wow. How cool is that? Oh, there he is. He left his bag undone. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I always worry about doing that. Yeah. <laughs> How much you lost? Bars, pump, everything. Oh no. Bars, yeah, pump's not so good. I'm paranoid about that. Uh, I've done it before. Alright, oh, 287 k's. Normally I wouldn't worry at all about that. Oh no, 287 k's and that took 15.8 litres. Yesterday morning I ran out of fuel at about 280 k's. So I don't know, don't understand it. I think this morning was, I put 12 point something litres in. I got a feeling that was around 170 k's. That worked out at 5.5 litres per 100 k's, which is about normal for this bike. So at 5.5 litres per 100 k's, I'd get 400 k's out of a tank. And it meant my fuel gauge was pretty accurate too, because it didn't start flashing till the end there. I don't know what's going on there. I'm stressing out about running out of fuel and I made it easy. Andy had the least, he had one, about one and a half litres left. 
I had uh, just over six litres left. Anyway, that's it for day two. We're heading back to Tong, back to the cabin.